Welcome back to the Making a Pong game series. This is Jonathan here, and we're almost done with our game, but there is something I'd like to do still, and that is adding music. So what we're going to be doing here is looking at something called the singleton pattern. And the singleton pattern is a game object that persists through all of our scenes. And there can only be one copy of this singleton game object in the entire game. So when do we use this? Well, it's very useful for something that we want to persist through multiple scenes, such as music. So, for instance, we have our level manager, and we have different copies of our level manager within our scenes. We have this level manager here in our main menu. We have it again here uh, in our lose scene, and we have it again here in our win scene. Well, the singleton is kind of, well, it's not really like this. Basically, we only want one copy of it, and it's going to exist here in our main menu, and then it's just going to follow us along to all of our scenes. So what we can do is create a new game object here and call this Music Manager. Hit enter and reset its position so it's 0, 0, 0. And now we can put a script on here and call it Music Manager. Very creative name, I know. And of course, we're just going to drag that into the scripts folder, number six over here. Okay, so let's go ahead and open this up. And open it up. There we go. So the first thing I'm going to do is change this void start to void awake. And awake happens before start, and it's good for initializing things such as creating a singleton. Uh, so in this, I'm going to call a function which we haven't created yet and call it make singleton. And now we're going to create a new thing, thingy here and call it avoid make singleton. And we have to create a public static variable. And what we're going to do is we're going to type public static music manager instance. So we're making basically a variable of this script itself. And this is the code pattern we use for making this singleton game object. We're going to say if instance is not equal to null, so basically if instance already exists, if the music manager already exists, we are going to destroy this game object. We're going to destroy the copy of the game object that is being made. And then we can say else, else if there is no instance already of this uh, of this music manager script, we're going to say don't destroy unload game object. Before we do that, we're also going to type instance equals only one quotation mark instance equals this. So just to go over this one more time, if a music manager already exists in the screen, we're going to destroy the duplicate music manager that is appearing. If, however, the music manager is, if we're loading the main menu, and in which case this else condition is going to be met, met, instance is going to be equal to null, we're going to set instance to be equal to this copy of the music manager, and then we are going to hold on to this music manager. So what does this mean in practice? Well, let's take a look. We have the music manager up here. And if we hit our start game under this don't destroy and load, we're going to see that we still have this music manager. OK, cool. So now what? Uh, if we go into our lose scene here and we go to the main menu, well, we see that we still only have one copy of this music manager. So this is really good because we want this music manager to be responsible for, well, playing our music. So now let's add an audio source component onto the music manager itself. And I like keeping these above the script. Oops, not remove. Move it up, move up. There we go. And under sounds, I have my music that's playing here, which I believe is actually quite loud by default. So I'm just going to uh, probably lower its volume. And if we see, it says play on awake, which is fine. Even at half volume, that's quite loud, isn't it? 
Okay, that's a little more reasonable. So, and that's great. And, and if we jump from scene to scene, we're still going to hear that music playing. So uh, we could leave it as that, but, uh, but I want to give the option as well, what if our player doesn't want music? So let's give them that option to turn it off if they don't want it. So I'm going to go here and, and uh, just duplicate one of these buttons. And I'm going to move this down to the bottom right corner, and I'm going to call this music toggle button. And we're going to change the text component and probably make the text smaller in this case. I'm going to say put here by default music off. So turn the music off if this button is pressed. And I'm just going to reduce this. Uh, actually, I'm not going to reduce the size from there. I'm going to reduce the size of the button itself. It's a smaller button. And now we can have, well, what, what do we already have here? We have the level manager, we have the music manager. So I'm, I'm going to create a component on this music manager itself. Uh, we don't need the void update. So we can call this void toggle music. Actually, it's going to be public void toggle music. And what we can do is we can just directly manipulate the audio source. Well, first of all, we're going to need a private audio source, audio source, and then we're going to do a get component here in the void awake. So we're going to say uh, audio source equals get component audio source, and that's going to let us talk to the audio source attached to this game object. And here under toggle music, we can use an if statement and say if audio source dot is playing and then an open close bracket true and we need to two closing brackets we can say audio source dot uh, what is it? is it actually I need a refresher here audio source dot stop there we go and now we can just say on the opposite spectrum else audio source dot play so quite simply if the music is playing oops I did something wrong oh I know what I did here we need to have a comparison so if audio source dot playing is equal to true then we're going to stop the music and otherwise we're going to play the music if it's off so let's give that a shot here and uh, test that out Oh, of course, I need to actually change the function because right now the music off button actually loads our next level. So let's just give that a change. So on here, under the on click, we're going to change that from level manager to music manager. And we're going to say music manager toggle music. Now let's give that a try. Cool, that does exactly what it's supposed to do. Uh, one thing, of course, though, is the button text itself uh, is incorrect so we can change that as well and we can just do that within the music manager so we can go up here and we can say public actually first of all we're going to need to get use using unity engine dot ui because we're going to use a canvas element we're going to say public button or actually not even the button we're just going to need a public text music button text we're going to hit control save and now under our uh, music manager it's going to ask us for the music button text and we're just going to drag that component into here and there back in our script we're going to go underneath this and we're going to say music button text dot text equals uh, music on and here we can do the opposite music button text dot text equals music off one more time let's give this a quick test and see if this works properly oh. would you look at that so now we have music and this really really feels like a real game at this point. So 
So, of course, there is a lot more we can do with this still, uh, but I will save that for another video. So thanks for watching this point. I really hope you've enjoyed this. And please, if you have any questions, especially about this singleton pattern, which might be confusing, do let me know. And also just let me know if you love this as well. Okay, see you next time.